You. All right, PN. So, when did you get born again? Hmm. This question. You know, I don't know the exact date and time, but I know the exact moment. Okay. You know, as a pastor's kid, I don't know which pastor's kid hasn't given their life to Christ like over <laughs> a thousand and times. Over. <laughs> whether it's a camp meeting, whether it's whatever, you just feel convicted. Mm. So, I think I probably the initial one was probably really early in my mm. life, but when I really embodied it, mm. was secondary school. I remember so well. I was walking through the. Where, where did you do secondary school? Akosombo. Akosombo. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I remember I was walking through the assembly hall. And I heard some people praying. Mm. And it was like, wow. So I turned. And there were just a group of people really praying. Mm. I'm not the type of person who is impressed with a lot of things. Mm. But I just believe that God just nudged on me. Mm. And I felt like, God, I, I want to be the type of Christian that enjoys talking to you. Mm. Like, I want to be the type of Christian that enjoys hanging out with you. Um, I want to live my life with intention for you. Mm. I, I don't want to be a passive Christian. Mm. I want my life to be an example to people. I want you to penetrate every aspect of my life. Mm. And so I remember that moment. And from that moment, I got serious with SU. Um, I joined the Prayer Warriors. I have my own stories on that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've never looked back since. Wow. So it was... Um, First year in secondary school. Wow. So that's when you believe you really made a yes. conscious decision yes. for Christ. Okay. Yes.